Hi everyone, I have one last animal to share with you from Odd Animal ABCs today. We are on to letter Z. So today's letter stands not for zebra, even though that is in the name, but for zebra duiker, which is this antelope-like creature up on top of the letter Z. So it resembles a zebra only in the fact that it also has some black stripes along its back, but it is a totally different animal. They're a lot smaller for one, and they're found in the rainforest primarily of Liberia and Sierra Leone. They have reddish brown fur and these black stripes along their back, hoofs and short little ears. So grab a piece of paper and a marker and we'll get started. Today we're gonna to start with our paper turned long ways towards you, and we'll begin over on the left-hand side of the page, about halfway up for his eye. So I'm gonna do a little dot over here to the side, and then I'm gonna do my backward C shape because he's facing towards the left. The shape of his face is kind of that teardrop shape. We've done something similar before, so it's gonna to come to a point at the end with his little black nose, and then we'll connect it to the rest of his body in just a while here. So to start, I'm gonna begin right over his eye here, draw that in a curve, and it's gonna come down to a point here. To take that back up the other side and I'm not going to connect the two just yet because I'm going to add his ears for his ears actually it's about the same shape but a lot smaller so I'm going to take it from above his eye on this side come up to a point curve it back under and then if I need to draw up a little bit more of his face you always can make those connections and then do the ear in the back for the one in the front I'm going to go ahead and do that same shape inside of it as we've done before just to add a little bit more depth they have black noses, so I'm just gonna color the end of his snout here in black. And then I added a line for a smile as well. So he has a mouth. And then they do have some dark marks on their faces. So to give that the effect of fur, I just did a series of lines on his face. Next for his neck, I'm just gonna do two parallel lines coming out at a diagonal. One underneath his face there, and then the other one right by that front ear. They're not very tall animals. They have a pretty compact body. So it's gonna be a curve that comes out to the other side of the page and then tucked under. We'll add a tail here, a very short tail at the end. Next for his front legs, just a series of lines. We've done something similar before. I'm gonna take one down from his neck here and then another one pointing in the same direction but a little bit further up towards his body here. And then two parallel lines coming down to his hoof, I'm gonna make that a little bit longer. And then just color that in black at the bottom for his hoof. And then we'll give him one more leg that's hidden behind that front one. So take one line down there, and then to the bottom we'll connect for his hoof once more. For his back leg, I'm gonna give him a curve here for his back hip, and then we'll draw the legs in from here. I'm gonna take a series of lines that just come out in about the seam distance or length of, from the bottom up of the page and color in with our hoof and then give him a belly. Just draw a curve from the front legs to the back and then we'll do that other back leg here hidden behind the front colored in for his hoof. He does have a short tail so what I left here this little space I'll just go ahead and do that curve out for that tail. Finally, as I said, he has his stripes along his back and I did the similar, similar treatment up here on his face just with those markings to create like fur. And you can do any number that you wish. I'm doing mine pretty thick. Maybe you make some that are a little bit skinnier. Your choice as the artist. So there's your zebra duiker. I hope you've enjoyed these past 26 days learning about some odd animals and drawing your own. You can find all 26 videos on my Instagram account. That's at Claire Sedevic. Or you can find them on my website as well. And that is simply clairesedevic.com. Thanks so much for joining.